Hi everyone, Scott here with the 5 Day Startup. Today I'm going to do a quick video on how to create custom themes uh, in Shopify. So we're working with the view and basically what this means is if you want to make a page so we'll go in here, oh I gotta float the video alright so if you want to make a custom page so I'm just going to open a new tab so normally you would go create new page over here So I'll just do this um, as a test. So then you'd create a test page and then hi. And then theme is going to be the default, which is um, what debut gives you or Shopify gives you. Uh, and this trick will work for all the themes or at least all of the custom or standard free Shopify themes. So I'll go ahead and save that. So then the problem with this is you won't have any user interface. Um, you just have this to control and edit the page and then you can do code here. Uh, but when you go to view it, it's very basic. It's just going to be HTML and it's not very user friendly. So if we go in here, let's see test page. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our themes. Customize. So this is going to bring you into kind of the user interface slide. Uh, and basically for your home page, you have all of these really easy click and drop kind of user interface for Shopify. But none of the other pages have that. And what we're trying to do is get the other pages to have a custom theme like that where you can edit them very easily by basically clicking, dragging, and dropping photos in uh, short bits of HTML in different sections, um, things like that. While that's loading, we can view. So basically, this is what I'm talking about. This is one I'm going to use for the example. But this section basically wouldn't be here. So you wouldn't have this or this. And so that's what we're trying to add in is your different sections. Uh, and basically what that's called is a page theme. So let's see if we can go here. There we go. So you can see that the home page has a whole bunch of options here. Uh, and that's by default on any of those themes. They're going to give you a whole bunch of really cool features. Uh, but that's not anywhere else. And that's just basically because the coding's a little bit complicated. So if we go to our test page, I'll show you. So you can see there's nothing here. And the whole goal is to actually get something into there. Uh, so what we're going to do is you can, a couple ways to get there. I'm going to go to here and then edit code. So guys, this doesn't actually take a lot of coding. It's all copy and paste. Uh, you just need to know where to edit things. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's, I think, one line of code that I'm going to give you. Uh, so mine has a whole bunch of themes already. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to look at one that I already created. And you guys obviously don't have this, but I'll put the line of code in there for you. Uh, in the description, you'll see this line, but it's basically you're just copying and pasting this. So look down for that. Put that in. So then this is your actual theme. So under templates, um, you'll just do a new, and then you wanna go down to page because we're doing it for pages. You could do it, uh, I've never done it for blogs, but I think it works the exact same way. Uh, it's just because it's kind of separated. And then we're gonna do, I like to name everything that I've done my, just for organization, and then the name of the page. That way you can stay organized, page. Create. So then close this, close this. So basically we're just gonna go ahead and delete all of that and then put this in. So you have to make a new section now. Uh, you can't reuse them even if you've made them before. So my hero is one that I've made before and the hero is the big picture at the top with text overlay. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna come down to section and then we're going to add a new one. So let's do 
I keep the same style. My and the type of page, hero, or the type of plugin, and then test page. And you're going to want to copy this because it has to be exactly the same. Create. So then back in your theme, you're just going to take this section out and put whatever you called your new section in. So then we're going to go ahead and delete this section. And then you're going to scroll through here. So basically in sections is all the different types. So if you're on the home page, let's see if this is the I don't have the home page up, but the home page had a whole bunch of options on the side here. Um, each one of those is basically in the sections. Some of them are called a little bit of weird things. What I use the most is my custom and my hero. So here you can see your hero. So let's take the original. So I'm just gonna open this. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna go ahead and close it so I don't mess it up by accident. And then we're almost done with this, guys. It's, it's super simple. So right here at the bottom, see, you're going to see the name. And this is the name that would appear on your home page on the left side. Um, so that's why you, the way you can correlate them. It's kind of annoying that they don't match up. So like hero is actually image with text overlay, which um, it's just once you figure it out, you, you'll be good. Um, so, but you do have to change this, and it has to be unique. So I'm going to do... I'm going to do image, text, test, uh, and then what you're going to do is find it again. So I should have copied it beforehand, but we'll go and control F, uh, what was it, image with, there we go. So it's only in there twice, it's, except for the custom where it's going to be in there three times. So we're going to go ahead and paste that in. And then we're going to save it. So we're going to do this one more time. I'm going to show you how to do it with the custom. The custom gives you a whole bunch of features because you can just continue to add new sections. Uh, so it, it's really the best that we don't have to use a whole bunch of different ones. Because otherwise you have to basically put in each section. So if you saw the about page, there was a whole bunch of these. There's like four or five. And each one with a different feature and I actually use the same feature over and over again but I just had to put it in multiple times uh, and some orient differently so as you use this you'll figure out what you want to use and you can play around with the home page again to do that so we're going to come in here I'm in sections again uh, my custom affiliate so this is going to be the custom one that I was talking about and then we're going to do a new page or new section my custom Test page, create section. Okay, oh, I want to copy this over. So we'll come back into so this one, I can close. We're done. So then we're just going to repeat this. And so the order they are in here is the order it shows up on your page on the left hand side which will make a difference so my there'd be my hero so you're going to be forced to use let's see if we can go to this page so i'm setting it up the exact same way so you're going to be forced to use my hero first and then the custom section uh if you wanted to flip that or you wanted another my hero you would just put in the my hero again but you're gonna have to make a whole new section so you would copy and paste this, but you would do My Hero Test Page 2 or something like that, however you guys want to organize it. Um, so then we got this. We're just going to select all, copy, delete this. And then we're going to look for the name again. So it, it should be in here three times for this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change this to my custom test page. Just do custom. If you go too long, it'll give you issues. So we're just going to do custom test. And to prevent any issues, I always copy and paste. That way I don't like mess a capital up or anything like that. Uh, what I do? My custom. Of course, I didn't. What was it? My custom. 
okay, it worked. Uh, so you can see it here, and you gotta change it in both spots. And that's it, so you save it. And this might seem a little complicated to you guys, but if you think about it, we've done no coding. Uh, all we've done is copy and paste and change two lines. Uh, and you didn't have to understand any code to make that happen. So now we're gonna come in here. So you could refresh it, it's still not gonna be the way you want. You go to edit this page. All we have to do is change the theme from the standard page to test page is what we called it. Oh, that's loading. My internet runs slow when I do these videos. I'll show you basically what it looks like here. So you can edit, just click in and edit like you normally would on a home page. And then the same with the custom. You can click in. And you can add a section. And I've had issues before uh, where it wouldn't add the section for some reason. Um, or they didn't show up and usually it's just a spelling error. That's why I copy and paste everything um, So if you do have that issue, just basically go delete it and try it again uh, make sure with custom you hit those two spots and get line up the the name So let's see if this loaded there we go, so we're gonna go to page template and then test page Save this And now if we did everything right, when I refresh the test page over here, you'll see the same once it refreshes. There we go. So it refreshed, they're right here, it's what we called it. And so guys, that's it. You can repeat as many times. You could have 30 My Heroes um, or anything like that. So it basically gives you a non-customizable format. It makes it extremely customizable. Uh, and then you can make as many pages you want look awesome. So some people charge hundreds of dollars for themes, like you can pay two, three hundred dollars for a theme that does this. Uh, and they're actually the user interface and is not as good and they're usually pretty glitchy and you're gonna end up getting um, worse engagement. All my pages that, or websites that I make are with the free Shopify themes and then I just go ahead and go in there and custom edit it. Uh, and then if you wanna get really advanced, you can do all custom coding in that theme. So you can make it completely custom. Uh, for that, I would use a freelancer to write the CSS and things like that. But that should get you guys started. Let me know if you have any questions. Also in the custom, there is the HTML, so you can do that, HTML, so you can put that anywhere. If you guys have any questions, let me know uh, and check out the five-day startup. Uh, have a great day, thank you.